If you know Alexis, you know a young woman who is a fountain of creativity. The river of her spirituality flows deep. She's talented and compassionate and intelligent and dedicated. She's a wonderful mother to Josiah and Uriel. And it's been a blessing to walk with you guys and journey with you and watch the way that you love Naveed. And if you know Naveed, you know he's a stand-up guy. He is a good man, passionate and personal. Yep. Amen. Sincere and strong and structured and stable like the banks of a river, helping guide that river. He's always intentional. He's always thoughtful. The kind of guy that thinks before he speaks and means what he says. And uh, I love watching the way you love Alexis, man. Naveed. Firstly, I want to say all praise be to God who brought us together through a series of miracles and synchronicities. This union is a result of God's divine wisdom and loving grace. I always say you were and still are like healing balm when me and the boys needed it the most. Alexis, our love has been a testament of God's love since we first met. He envisioned us for one another long before I ever laid my eyes on you. He planned this day before we ever could and sculpted us to become one flesh, a living work of art that serves to carry out his will for family and pour out his love into the world for others to witness. And Josiah and Uriel, I vow to always do my best. I promise to always be there for you when you need me. Whether it's an ear to listen or a shoulder to cry on, I will never miss a beat. I want you to know that all of this is for you so that you can see your mommy loved the way she's meant to be loved, so that you can grow to become the men that God intends for you to be, and so you can continue this legacy by being a reflection of God's love to the world and your generations to come. Now that Alexis and Naveed have committed themselves to each other with vows and rings and other things, in the presence of this company, by the authority of the state of California and that of the Almighty God, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct honor, it's for the first time anywhere, as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Etamaripur. Let's give it up for them. And please help me welcome your bride and groom, Mr. and Mrs. Etamaripur. Alexis relaxes in a little town in Texas where she doesn't pay her taxes. You remember that? Remember that monkey butt? You were three years old, a cute little girl with a raspy voice, full of energy, asking for her baba chocolate. Before I knew it, you were a young lady, strong-willed, you used to make me mad. <laughs> but I knew that that was evidence that you were going to be a strong person. I actually was there the first day that she met Naveed. 
Alexis, Katra, and this guy who I didn't know <laughs> met me at a work event in downtown. Uh, we were all having a blast dancing the night away, and I noticed these two uh, getting kind of close. They were literally in their own world. Thank you guys so, so much. And I have a little special surprise for my groom, so. You guys, I might crack and I might cry, but I'm gonna sing a special song for him. I found a dream that I could speak to, the dream that I 